So hello everybody, it is Monday, so it's time for another Power Query video. This time it is the features announced for Power Query March 2021. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing what we're going to talk about in this video is Power Query Online. That means Power Query built in online products like for Power BI, it is the data flow. So this functionality does not exist yet in Power BI Power, Des uh, Power BI Desktop, okay? It will come, but for now, not there. So if you wanna test this functionality, you have to use it, for example, on data flows, okay? So with that said, what they are saying is that the diagram view in Power Query is generally available. And if you don't know what diagram view is, it's basically a visual representation of the Power Query steps. Okay, so if you now click, there is a button that says diagram view, you have to click that in order to be able to see the visual representation of your queries. If you click on the arrow pointing down, like any functionality in Power Query, you will get to a menu. And that's where they have put a lot of effort in this release. So there are a few things that you can do in that menu. The first one is you can choose if you want to see step names or step labels right so you can click on there and choose the one that you need and also you will be able to click on a query and related queries would get highlighted for example if you have appended queries or merge queries you will see which queries are dependent on each other which is quite nice now this is the biggie for me because i've i haven't been too over excited about having a diagram representation horizontally because you know power query you get a lot of steps sometimes and it you know it's better to have it hor uh, vertically in my opinion and they've got that feedback from other people in the power query community so they have created what they call a compact view so it's more like the query dependency settings that we had before which i thought it was brilliant the, the pity was that you couldn't click on it and do stuff that's what i think they should develop further so you can actually do things now you have the possibility also to maximize the data preview so you know when you're working with um, power query at least when i work with power query i want to see the data and you know you need to see the data to see how you are going to manage exceptions and things like that. So the data preview was a little bit too small, so they are adding more data to it, so you can see more data. Also, you will be able to expand and collapse all queries, and you will be able to multi-select queries, so you can control click different queries, and then you can say merge or append or things like that. You can inline rename. This is the same thing that you do today on the query pane you can just you know double click and rename your query there and uh, accessibility so you have keyboard shortcuts in order to access all the different features which is always very nice and welcome so those are the updates now have you tried the diagram view what are your thoughts on it let me know on the comment box and I will see you again on Wednesday with our misleading charts series where me and Celia Alves were going to discuss about a very interesting chart, to be honest. But I'll see you on Wednesday. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.